we uh, moving on to the jogging pump or let's say maintenance pump and if you only require a maintenance pump or jockey pump uh, to uh, maintain the pressure into the fire pressure system. Now, what is the meaning of the maintain the pressure inside the system is that if your fire pressure system get, got a small leakage, which is very obvious in underground fire water vapors or at the bend, uh, at, the, at the joint, in the threaded connections, gasket, in all those areas, there might be some kind of a leakage there. So that leakage is very small one. Those leakage shall not be uh, maintained by the main pump because we don't want to start or stop the main pump much frequently uh, to, uh, to maintain those leakage, right? So those leakage should be only maintained by the jockey pump. Now, idea behind that is that here we have the life of the jockey, uh, the life of the main pump, right? The bearing, the shaft, the mechanical equipment, impeller, everything. We don't want that to rotate frequently. Maybe let's say ten times a day for one year, two years, ten years, or five years, right? So by doing that, the main pump will be uh, failed. The bearing will damage, and we need lots of the maintenance. The performance of the pump will reduce. For that, we need a jockey pump, which will only uh, maintain the pressure in uh, the fire pressure system. Now, what is the size of the jockey pump, right? As we discussed in our class, the main pump size, if let's say if it is uh, 500 GPM, the capacity of the jockey pump should be like 5% uh, of the main flow. Sorry, 1% of the main flow. So, we have 5 GPM capacity and the pressure should be 10 PSI higher than the rating of the main pump. This is what NFPA says as a rule of thumb. We just want to maintain the pressure, right? Like, uh, let's say, consider if we have underground fire water networks, right? A, a underground fire water networks, we have to size the jockey pump based on the 1% of the main fire pump capacity. If your fire pump of 1000 GPM, right, rated at 140 PSI, right? So the jockey pump needs to be 1% of 1000, which is 10 GPM. So minimum size of the jockey pump should be 10 GPM. Coming back to the pressure, the pressure of the jockey pump should be at least 10 PSI higher than the main pump. In that case, if our main pump is for 140 PSI, the pressure for the jockey pump should be at least 150 PSI. This is why the jockey pump is just to maintain the pressure. The 1% is only for the underground fire water network. Coming to the above ground network, suppose your fire protection system is going to protect a sprinkler system, right? So in that case, the flow of the jockey pump should be at least equal to the minimum K factor of the sprinkler system, right? We have a sprinkler system has the K factor of, uh, let's say, 5.6 as well as 13 and minimum pressure of 7 psi. That sprinkler will give, you, give us a 15 dpm of flow. So we need a, a, a jockey pump of 15 dpm uh, in our case for the above now for the sprinkler system. Now, as I said, this is not a pump to fight the fire, just to maintain the pressure into the fire protection system, right? To, to save the life of the main pump, it will go up to 20 years without any problem to damage the bearing at all. So this one need not to be listed. What is the meaning? There should be no requirement for the UL or FM, either for the jockey pump or for the, the valves we have in the jockey pump. We don't need this one to be uh, listed on because this is not normally we need listed or approved ma listed material for something which is for fire protection. This is just maintaining the system. We might maintain those pressure by other pump also because we just want to save the life of the pump. While the main pump is saving the life of the property, person inside the healthcare occupancies and the various protection uh, of the uh, warehouses and the storage areas. This is how about the jockey pump. Again, in the jockey pump also, if you can see, we have a check bar, right? So that the backflow of water can be avoided in the jockey pump. We have a OSY type gate bar into the suction. Now the suction of the jockey pump is coming from the same suction of the, the main fire pumps. Right? So those, the water line coming all the way from this one and at this location, it is getting discharged to the discharge line and doing the function. So the question is that if the sensor, the one I discussed, eh, eh, the one I'm going to discuss in the in the next video regarding the sensors, right? So those sensors detect the 
the file right let me make it easy uh, for you guys you know those sensors will detect the uh, loss of pressure into the fire protection system if there is a leakage right even if then the first the sequence we have to make in such a way that in case of the pressure uh, drop the first one will start the jockey pump the jockey pump will start uh, just to keep in mind it will only start to maintain the pressure so if there is a leakage it's okay the jockey pump will go up to 10 psi and it fulfill those demand but if there is an actual fire and someone is the spindle is getting activated and we need last quantity of last capacity of water let's say around uh, 400 gpm right or 500 gpm the further it will only maintain up to 10 psi so let's say the jockey pump rated for uh, uh, 150 psi and fire pump rated for 140 psi so this will maintain only a 10 psi higher pressure than the fire pump right but if there is the actual fire there is high flow so when the flow goes higher the pressure will reduce in that time even the jockey pump is working it is not maintaining the pressure at 15 psi drop in the main fire protection system line the main fire pump will start and it will supply water to the fire protection system keeping in mind this is the actual fire and now it will protect our occupancies now it is all about the jockey pump again this i i explained that this is this not need to be listed because you know this is not a purpose of the pump which they want to fight the fire just to maintain the pressure we have uh, as an fa we have we need a redundant pump we have a jockey pump we have electrical pumps and we have a diesel pump right but diesel pump we don't have at our facilities but i am just explaining the sequence of the operation in case of the pressure drop, right, the jockey pump will start and it will maintain the pressure in the discharge piping. But further, it will only maintain a pressure difference of 10 psi. If the pressure goes up 15 psi uh, changes, the main pump will start and it will supply the water to the fire pressure system. Now, if the building got uh, fully uh, covered with the fire and the electrical uh, connection, the feeder connection with the motor got uh, damage and we are not getting power to the system now comes from for the diesel pump so the first pump will start the jockey pressure is going below then the second one then electrical pump will start and even the electrical pump is not supplying the requirement the diesel pump will start and it will boost the pressure in the system and have to fight the fire this is all about the uh, jockey pump We'll discuss regarding the controller of the main pump and the jockey board in our next video. Thank you.